Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. So don't forget for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Hey you guys, so anyways, I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole Azealia Banks situation, honey. When I tell you, I had people from Ireland DMing me the other day. Shout out to y'all, I didn't even realize I had people in Ireland watching me that were tea sippers. So I was super excited to hear from you guys. They're like, tea, we got some Irish tea for you. You have to talk about Azealia Banks versus the whole country of Ireland, okay? So this entire situation is a hot damn mess, honey, but you know what, I'm here for a bitch, okay? So anyways, what's going down right now with Azealia Banks is this. Um, once again, she got into it on a flight going to Ireland and she was kicked out for the plane and she's at the airport basically crying tattoo tears about, you know, the racism and all this stuff that she's going through in Ireland and how people are, you know, they're, they're just messing with her. You know, she's always a victim. Then she proceeds to call all Irish women ugly. Then after that video went viral, she proceeded to get onto her Instagram and start dragging Irish people as well, okay? Y'all go ahead and watch this video and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. I don't know what's gonna like go down with this Dublin show, but it's like every time I come to the UK, there's always like some shit with these fucking like airline people. They're just like always like just like starting shit with me, you know? Go and like I'm on this Aer Lingus flight and I don't know what the fuck is going on in the beginning. Matthew has my bags, he goes like deep in the plane, puts my bags up. And then the lady is like asking me some fucking questions and I'm, you know, just trying to find my since I didn't have an answer for her, she like went to like a like you know, like a couple seats over and she's like staring at me. And I'm just like I'm looking at her, I'm just like, girl, don't stare at me. Like I didn't fill out your Aer Lingus app like work application. And she goes to the captain of the plane and lies and says that I said like oh like don't stare at me i'll sort you out and i'm like what are you fucking talking about like i'm from new york city i don't even say shit like that you know i don't even like i don't even use that kind of slang and then they just they all just like crowd around me and like you know they're like chastising me like i'm some fucking animal you know just like oh we're not gonna have a problem we're gonna have a problem i'm just like what the fuck is going on you know so i get off the plane because i get off the plane you know because i'm just like shit you know like I've like worked too hard in my life to be like, you know, cornered by some fucking like ugly Irish bitch, you know, like and he's like fucking ugly Irish women here, like just trying to fucking and you know, they like send like they like gas me up and then like all these fucking security niggas come over and like you know they're just crowding around me, like treating me like a fucking wild animal. And I'm just like you know, like tried their hardest to get me to like say something or do something or like freak out or you know and I'm just like I'm really like just like trying to calm down right now because calm down and like figure out how I'm gonna get to Dublin like I'll probably have to drive to London like I mean drive to Dublin like I'm in London I'll go pick up the fucking salt and like just get in a car and drive to drive to to Dublin, take the ferry or whatever the fuck I gotta do, but no bitch, you're not gonna play me over no fucking Aer Lingus flight, you know, you're not gonna like di disrespect me and like make a fucking spectacle out of me, bitch, no I can't do that shit I just can't, like I don't have like the, men the mind for it, I can't if there's another airline I can fly, like last minute or something because and then you know they try to switch it on me like oh now you can never fly on Aer Lingus because I got off the plane at first they were trying to like get me to stay on the plane you know it's like what the fuck but uh aha -huh, bitch that's why you standing there on the fucking tarmac digging up all right, so you guys just saw that video of her crying at the airport. So then after that, um, she starts going back and forth with people. So one person she got into was some guy named um, Bob Ray 32 And she says, because most of you can't talk or write LOL, you all, you lot are a bunch of prideful inbred leprechauns who have zero global influence and zero white privilege. The rest of the world's white folks don't want to associate with, I think she meant your, with your lot at all and it's because you are barbarians then she goes on to say to another person don't you have famines to go die in then she says to someone else 
I'm the happiest knowing that the Irish are quarantined on an aisle so they can continue to inbreed and keep their defective genes away from the rest of humanity. Then somebody tells her, you're going to get a nice Irish welcome at your concert. I hope you like potatoes. And then at that point, she just starts going off on them um, even more. Then she also posts this. Y'all go ahead and check this out. All right, so you guys just heard what Azealia Banks had to say. This girl is just off the chain. And a lot of folks were really pissed off from what um, a few of my tea sippers in Ireland told me. Folks was ready to throw potatoes and shit at her, okay? That's how mad people were at her. You know, the funny thing is, like, now she wants to call them barbarians and talk shit about their country. But your ass is even lucky that they booked you to fly you to their country to perform. You know, you can't talk shit about these people when you're struggling ass happily obliged to go perform in this country for these people. If they're barbarians, then you don't need their barbaric money, point blank, period, okay? The problem with Azealia Banks is nobody feels bad for her. She's always a victim. It's, it's never her fault. It's always her being picked on. This is like the third time she's gotten into it on a plane flight. If you guys remember the last infamous plane fight, that went viral that was all over the you know national news because she was calling one of the flight attendants of uh you know the f word or whatever and going off on them and fighting over her suitcase my shit. no take it give me my like, oh, my shit. Shit. She's always getting into it. Like I said, her and Chris Brown really need to check the energy around them and the energy within themselves. For some reason, they tend to attract just a lot of just negativity, a lot of just crazy situations constantly happen to the two of them, especially Azealia Banks, okay? She's always getting kicked off of somebody's flight. She's constantly getting into it with people. She talks to folks crazy as hell. She loves to hit below the belt. But then when she gets a fraction of that back, just a fraction of that back, she's crying and she's playing victim. Like I said, she's a wordsmith, you know what I'm saying, behind the computer. She has all types of clapbacks, you know what I'm saying? She can write whole dissertations, read them folks for the filth. But again, I always go back to the girl on Wildin' Out, where DC Young Fly caught her ugly and she had no rebuttal except for, hey, that's kind of colorist. And then she got in her feelings and started crying on Wildin' Out. Nick Hannon. You don't have to pray for me. Pray for your fucking immune system, okay? You don't have to pray for me, nigga. <laughs> I'm a bitch. But yeah, niggas really be trying to gas it. They be like, oh, why you didn't say that? Why you didn't have that energy? Because <laughs> it's like, no, I really would have freaked out and really beat one of y'all niggas up. And then I'm going to be in jail, and I can't get no more time. my hands. <laughs> Oh shit, I'm going back to New York right now. I'm about to go get this white dick. Y'all niggas are not going to stress me out. Okay? And that's the end. This girl is so sensitive, and there's nothing wrong with being sensitive, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. But you cannot dish it, and then you can't take it once it comes back to you. And the energy that she puts out there is what she's constantly attracting. When she starts putting out positive energy, when she starts being a more positive person, instead of, you know, constantly just talking shit, you know, always hating on people, always trying to bring down other people, you know, her own peers in the music industry, until she changes her energy, she's always going to just be involved in all types of is chaos and bullshit okay she is another agent of chaos wherever she goes chaos and destruction follows i you couldn't pay me to go to an azalea banks concert at this point in time because i'd be scared that the damn roof might cave in because the girl just brings so much just you know negative energy with her it's obvious azalea banks is dealing with a lot of issues and i feel like some of those issues are mental issues you know what i'm saying and i think she really needs to go and seek help because it just doesn't make sense how she's always in drama just constantly 
constantly. She's more known for her drama and her beefs than any of her damn music. And the fact that people are still booking her still shocks the shit out of me till this damn day, okay? I don't understand why folks don't learn their lessons. Like, you know what? Azalea Banks doesn't appreciate anything, so why waste our time booking her? That would be my motto. But anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing-ass situation. Once again, concerning the ratchet Florida of rappers, honey, Azealia Banks getting into it with the whole country of Ireland. So let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. All right, deuces. Yay! <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.